up guys back with another video so in this video i'm going to explain how you can book minimum one call a day completely delegated automated through hiring a feed growth specialist okay the best way of delegating lead flow and the only way to scale up a consulting company whether if it's health and fitness or any other company but definitely in health and fitness is if you hire people that are better than you. 99% of you um, are following business gurus and business gurus are saying that you should start sending cold DMs yourself, right? That you should um, slave away in front of the computer and send cold DMs. Now they do that because frankly, they're just lazy to actually properly help you. And basically their big brand is carrying, um, carrying their marketing, right? Now, obviously I'm doing things a little bit differently. That's why our clients are getting extremely good results. So what I'm going to basically show you is completely automated how you can get calls, right? How you can get at least one call a day, two calls a day, three calls a day. Let's say this is my January, right? These are three calls a day, right? Another two calls a day, another two calls a day, right? How you can get on average a minimum of one call a day, but most importantly, three to five calls every single day, right? This is basically my entire month of January, but I can show you um, February, it looks exactly the same. Um, I can show you March, I can show you April. Like we are literally booking unlimited amounts of calls, completely automated with one sector, right? With one sector that I have hired and I have trained, right? You don't need a big team in order for you to be able to book calls. If you are going to, so the number one problem is if you are going to try and send messages, if you're going to try and book calls for your company, especially if you're a beginner, right? You don't know what the DM framework is. You don't know how to DM people. You don't know how to get responses. And most importantly, you don't know how to book calls on the regular, right? You don't have the time most probably to slave away in front of the computer, right? Yet you're following all of these gurus who are telling you to do that right? Um, also, they are telling you to run advertisement campaigns, okay? It's really good to run advertisement campaigns, but if you can't convert your ad leads into calls, then they don't matter shit, right? Then your ad campaign is going to be uh, loads of money down the drain, right? We are booking on average one to two calls a day from our advertisement campaign, like just from the advertisement campaign. That's not even con uh, considering the outbound process because we have one very, very highly efficient setup. We don't have a big team, but in that one very high efficiency sector, we're able to book that. Now, our clients are doing the absolute same, right? Now, obviously, we did the same with our health and fitness companies. So if you don't know me, I have built a multiple six-figure online health and fitness company before helping other fitness coaches scale. This is why I know these processes and these systems. So in this video, I'm going to basically give you the exact step-by-step -step detail roadmap on how to hire a highly efficient setter, how to hire them once, never needing to hire them again, so you are able to book three to five calls every single day, just like how I did, as you saw our calendar, right? This is how we're able to generate this amount of revenue. This is how our clients are able to generate this amount of revenue. This is why our clients have the best results on the industry. Okay, so let's let's go step by step. Okay, first step. Obviously, you need to screen for previous experience. Okay, so first of all, most importantly, the best is if you post a post inside the Facebook group. Okay, so uh, the first step is obviously how to find the right candidates. Okay, so let's say that you're in a situation where you want to start hiring your first sector. Okay. Now, if you join our program, we are going to do this entire process for you. Okay. So you can hire a very highly efficient sector if you do this on your own. But if you join our program, we are going to hire your sector, find your sector, train your sector for three months, even before putting them into your company. Right. So by the time you join our program, you already have a list of fit growth specialists of fitness specialized sectors who can book at least one call a day for your company. We are going to implement them for you and we are going to also manage them for you. Right. So it's done for you. Right. Uh, we are delegating uh, booking calls every single one of our clients so they can focus on more important CEO tasks. Okay. So if you want to do that, if you want to work three, four hours a day and making 10, 20, 30 thousand dollars a month, right, definitely sign up to our program. Okay. But if you decide that you want to do it on your own, first step is obviously finding the right talent, finding the right candidates. Okay. Because even who you are going to interview, you will need to choose people, right? You will need the right candidates, first of all. Okay. If you don't have the right candidates, if you don't have the right group of people, you don't even have the right group of people to choose from, nothing's going to happen. Okay. Obviously, the second step, you will need to kind of um, basically decide from the candidates who are the better ones, right? Or the better quality candidates. So you need to basically choose from the already existing candidates. And then obviously you will actually need to interview them and choose your actual sector. Our main password at fit scaling for every single one of our clients and also just, you know, what I teach to people normally is slow to hire, quick to fire. Okay. So this can sound funny, but um, if you hire the wrong people to a very crucial task, like, like appointment setting, 
then your company is going to bleed out, right? It might very well be where every single aspect of your company could work extremely well, but because you hired one wrong sector, your company is going to bleed out. I had the absolute same with my first, like with my online fitness coaching company, right? I had the absolute same, like I hired multiple sets, like what, this process that I'm going to tell you, I learned this through blood, sweat, and tears, right? Like this is completely different than what the bullshit agencies teach you, bullshit business gurus teach you, right? All of these people teach you, this is the actual real deal, okay? So first, how to actually screen, right, for the right candidate. First of all, you need to screen for experience. The best is if you post um, a post into a very well written post, into um, some kind of Facebook group where people are pre-trained, right? For example, Millionaires Consulting is a really good one, right? That's why we found our center as well, right? So basically, these are some groups. You know, if you don't know groups, then, you know, make sure that you message me on Instagram. I can send you over this entire document and, um, you know, you will be able to basically just, you know, use these groups for your own advantage. But these are a few of the groups that you should post into, right? Obviously, the first thing is you should always ask for a CV, okay? And so many business owners skip on that, right? And so many people that just don't even teach this, okay? So um, if you don't ask for a CV, if you don't know people who, um, you, you, you know, if you don't know what people did before, then what the hell are you doing, okay? And I'm not talking about just setter experience. Obviously, we prefer experienced setters, but oftentimes an experienced setter who is a little bit, um, you know, um, like full of themselves is worse than someone, than a sector who didn't really have any prior experience, but they have worked an extremely hard job, right? So they know what hard work is. They know what listening uh, to people is. They know what listening to their boss is, right? So, um, you know, it's not black or white. Make sure that you ask for the CV. Um, generally speaking, what you should kind of um, focus on, right, in terms of the CV is very, very important. Okay, so what you should focus on is whether or not someone is a hard worker, whether or not someone is trying to brag in their CV, whether or not someone is writing into the CV what they want from you, right? Um, because if they already start on that note, then they are not humble enough, okay? So you need to go for humble candidates, okay? Um, and you need to choose someone who is going to believe in the mission, who is going to stay with your company, okay? You need to definitely, you know, screen for that. Now, in our company, we are going to implement setters like that into your company. We only work with the best, okay? But if you want to do it for yourself, this is how you do it, okay? Setter hiring question sheet, right? Obviously, if you want this question sheet, um, you know, definitely make sure that um, you message me, okay? And I can send it over. So this is the entire um, hiring question sheet, okay? Basically of how we are going to build up the, set, uh, the setters, um interview right so once you s start finding the right candidates basically this question sheet you can already send them this um you know up front so you can already kind of screen through the entire process okay so um the number one thing of a question sheet is is that you should kind of um already screen okay so you should kind of your, your job is to chase people away from the position you need to make your position as difficult in the eye of the potential setter as possible because then they are going to understand that they want to work with you, right? Or not. So it's very important. If you are trying to sell an employee on the position that you're offering because you're afraid that you're not going to have a proper employee, that's how you are going to fuck up the most, okay? Because people who don't respect hard work are going to want to join your company, okay? The second step is to fill out the personality test, okay? So after having the CV, deciding if, um, you know, that experience is good enough, you need to send a personality test. Um, I have showed this type of personality test over and over and over again, okay? Make sure that you never choose protagonists, okay? 16 personalities is the best personality test. Um, make sure the one thing that you need to focus on is never choose protagonists as a personality, okay? So, um, you know, if you never use a personality test before or you don't know how these things work, okay, feel free to message me on Instagram as well. I'm going to explain. Um, or if you, again, sign up with our... Um, with our program, then we are going to go through this entire process for you, okay? So um, anyways, make sure to use the personality test, okay? No protagonist, the defender personality type is the absolute best, okay? You can schedule interviews with anyone except the protagonist for further screening, okay? So protagonists, you should already not book an interview with, right? So generally speaking, out of every 10 applicants, right, you should only do an interview with one of them, okay? And generally speaking, you need to do at least five, six, seven, um, interviews with different candidates until you can even find the right person, right? Going through this entire screening process. Instead of this, what do people do? They sign up in an agency and, you know, they're going to get a random freaking sector or they hire the first sector that comes in front of them, right? So obviously your company is not going to be great. You know, you're not going to have the returns that we had, right? So if you check out, you know, the calendar here, right? Obviously you're not going to have this amount of calls, 
right? If your sector is not the right one, this is literally booked by a single sector, right? Because they have been trained, okay? We also train the sectors in our program, okay, for our clients, okay? We are going to implement sectors into your company. Now, um, the third step is the exact interview process, okay? Very, very important. So, obviously, in terms of the interview, right, these are the things that you should focus on. I can send this over to you as well, okay? It's very, very important that you explain that you're going to introduce your company. You're going to ask previous experience in detail, right? What KPIs they had to hit, work hours, results, right? Why they left. It's very important that if you're interviewing someone, and their previous jobs, you need to understand why they left that job. Because if you don't understand why someone left their jobs, right, then how do you know that they are not just going to bail out on you quickly, right? Let's say that they left their job, and we had this uh, many times before, where someone wasn't the protagonist, we jumped on a call with them, and we still realized that they are not taking their, uh, that they are not going to take their job seriously because they literally left their previous employers because they wanted to go travel a little bit, right? Obviously, you don't want people like that. You want people who are going to trust and believe in your company for the years to come, who you can scale with. That's how you're going to get the results that I am getting with my sector and our clients are getting with their sectors, right? Obviously, you need to tell them about demands. Now, how you want to tell them about demands is try to scare them away from the position as much as possible, right? Literally explain that you don't care about working hours, you only care about KPIs. If they are not bringing the KPIs, they're going to get fired, okay? These are all extremely important things because if you're not making it completely obvious that your number one thing is hard work in your company and you are going to get rid of that person if they are not working hard and they are not bringing results, then you are going to hire a liability and not an asset to your company. You need to hire better people than you are. Now, obviously, we have done this uh, over 100 times with our different clients, right? So we obviously do it in a one-on-one -on -one process. We actually do the hiring process for our clients. We are actually training their employees in, right? So this is not something where I'm going, uh, where, you know, what most agencies will do is they will give you a random Filipinian uh, person, you know, um, who doesn't even know how to speak proper English, and then they're going to be like, okay, I did my job, right? This is why I don't recommend your agencies. This is why I don't recommend you, um, you know, just hiring sectors without any experience in terms of who to hire, because literally the wrong hire can destroy your company forever, okay? So make sure that you follow this process that I'm explaining to you, or make sure that you book a call with us so I can explain that in a way more personalized way okay so you obviously need to read through their cv right don't sugarcoat in the demands right also very very important only hire people on a commission only basis i can't press that enough because i have made the mistake of hiring people on not a commission only basis for a sector position and it has backfired like crazy okay so if someone doesn't want to join your company on a commission only basis then that's your biggest red flag right so Commission only, obviously, if you, let's say you're selling for $3,000, which uh, that's the, basically the minimum price that our clients are selling for, right? You sell for $3,000 per program, the sector will get $300 um, if you close, right? So 10% commission, 7.5 to 10% commission, generally speaking, is what you would give, this is what I would give to the sector for a starting position. But the number one thing is only commission base, okay? That's very, very important. And make them sell themselves to you, right? So basically, don't try to sell the position. The position should be the opposite when you're talking about the position. You need to see that even though this, they understand that this is an extremely hard position, they still want to join, right? So most important qualities, work ethic, humble, uh, humble, can follow orders and coachable, right? These are the most important qualities. Um, it doesn't even matter. You know, many people are like, okay, experience is king. I don't believe that experience is king. Uh, basic personality traits are king, right? Now, obviously, the people that we find for our clients, they also have experience in uh, fitness offer, right they have been booking a lot of calls for other coaches they get additional training from us we go through this entire hiring process with them before implementing them into our clients companies these are clients are absolutely crushing it right this is the only real way to book as many calls as we are booking okay because if you are doing lead flow on your own if you're following these big business gurus who tell you to do send manual outreach or uh, who tell you to just launch a random instagram ad right and then like you need to take care of the leads if uh, you follow their advice, then obviously you're not going to be successful. This is the only way to be successful, okay? Um, your first appointment sector should be your absolute mo uh, biggest key hire. With a single sector, you can get to fifty to $100,000 a month, right? I can guarantee you that. With a proper advertising campaign, a single uh, appointment sector that is efficient, you can get to $100,000 a month. Easy in health and fitness, right? So, yep, um, thank you very much. Uh, make sure that you follow this process. Make sure that you follow me on Instagram, okay? Extremely important. Um, 
you can check out our client results. You can literally check out, uh, we have in-depth reports about how we implement sectors into our clients' companies and how they perform, right? In-depth reports about that. We have in-depth client interviews uh, who explain this entire thing, right? How we are implementing it for them. Okay, so make sure that you utilize this. If you have any questions, message me on Instagram or book a call with me. Um, and yeah, just, you know, um, if you want this to be done for you, then join our program, right? So, uh, you know, we work with a limited amount of clients. We are getting full, full really, really fast. Um, but at the moment, we still have some uh, spaces free. So if you want this to be done for you, then make sure to book a call. Okay, thank you very much and see you in the next video.